in part six, chapter five of Crime and Punishment, Raskolnikov follows Svidrigailov to the boarding house. Svidrigailov threatens to call the police, but Raskolnikov is not intimidated, accusing Svidrigailov of eavesdropping on his confession to Sonia. Svidrigailov taunts Raskolnikov about his hypocrisy. He whines about immorality while hiding his own crime. He cynically chides that Raskolnikov had better shoot himself. Svidrigailov appears to leave in a carriage, but as soon as Raskolnikov's back is turned, Svidrigailov slips out of it and follows him. Raskolnikov passes Dunya on the street without noticing her. Dunya sees him, but is too startled to say anything. Instead, she spots Svidrigailov, who signals to her. He convinces her to return to his room to talk to Sonia, who isn't actually there. There, Svidrigailov tells Dunya about her brother's crime and about Raskolnikov's theory that a single misdeed is permissible if the principal aim is right. Dunya remembers Raskolnikov's article but doesn't believe that he committed the murders. Dunya tries to leave, but Svidrigailov has locked her in. Svidrigailov declares his love and tries to blackmail Dunya into sleeping with him. First, he promises to save her brother, then threatens to expose him if she doesn't do what Svidrigailov wants. Then, he threatens to rape her. <gasps> Dunya pulls out a revolver and accuses Svidrigailov of poisoning his wife. He dares her to shoot him. She fires, ah. grazing his scalp. He dares her to do it again, but the gun misfires. She realizes that he would sooner die than let her go and tosses the gun aside. He embraces her, asking her whether she loves him now or could ever love him, and Dunya firmly says <gasps> no. He dejectedly lets her go keeping the revolver. In part six, chapter six of Crime and Punishment, Svidrigailov visits Sonia and gives her 3,000 rubles, saying he's going to America. She refuses, but he insists she accept the money and use it to follow Raskolnikov to Siberia. Sonia is shocked that he knows about Raskolnikov's crime. Svidrigailov assures her he will tell no one. He also gives his young fiance a large sum of money. He gets a small, low room under the stairs in a hotel, the only one left. He's unable to eat and begins to feel feverish, wondering if Dunya could have actually made him a better man. That night, he has fever dreams. First, a mouse runs all over him. Then he sees the girl he molested and drove to suicide in her coffin with a beautiful cottage covered in flowers. This dream heavily implies that he did, in fact, commit that crime. He gets up and finds a five-year-old girl, cold and crying, in the hallway, neglected or treated cruelly. He takes her to his room and puts her to bed, to sleep, but he's horrified by the sinister expression on her face. He wakes up to discover it has only been a dream. Svidrigailov leaves the hotel with the revolver in his pocket and wanders. He approaches a policeman in an Achilles helmet, says he is going to America, and shoots himself in the head. <laughs> 